Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another new look haul and again it's going to be kind of gothic affordable summer clothing especially if you really like dark floral prints and kind of the basics in your wardrobe then hopefully this video will help you find those pieces. I have done another new look haul fairly recently so I will link that in the eye for you if you would like to go and watch that but I do have four things to show you. One of them will be going back and one of them I've already sent back so I will talk a little bit about that because I did take a photo of me in it so I could kind of talk about it. I actually mainly placed this order because they bought out these skirts and I don't know if you remember when Select still had like stores. I think they still have physical stores but the one in my shopping center closed down recently. But Select about six or seven years ago maybe, maybe six years, they came out with these belted skirts and they were all kind of like ruffly and they had this corset style belt attached to them and I remember I had a floral one and I'll try and post a photo of it um, if I can find it but I remember I wore that all the time and I absolutely loved it and I was actually going through Depop the other day trying to find it because I was like I actually really like that skirt and that's something I'd wear again now then I walked into New Look and they've bought them back so I was so excited it was literally perfect timing so on their website I did do a click and collect order because my new look only had two of the items out of the five that I ordered so I always do a click and collect because there's so much more online and it's free to collect your order over 20 pounds I think this was the first one that I picked up and this is mainly why I placed the order so this is called the black spot chiffon tiered belted mini skirt so if you type something like that in online you should be able to find this now this was originally like 24 pounds it should actually have the tags on yeah 23 pounds 99 i did get 25 percent off everything so i got this one for 17.99 so i feel like that is a good price for a skirt it's got this really cool like corset belt style like belt to it and this material is really really nice and soft it is like a fake leather um but it's a really nice soft leather and also what i love about these is they're insanely stretchy like it's it's insane but i absolutely love these because they're very very comfortable um so i did get mine in an eight because I saw them in store, I did look at the 10 and it looked really big for a 10. So I did get an 8 and this fits me perfectly. Um, and then it's basically got this spotty print on. So it's black with all of these white spots on. And it does have different like ruffles. So it's got the first layer of ruffles, the second here, the third and then the fourth. And what I really liked about this skirt is you might think all oh, that might look a bit itchy but they've put this really nice soft lining in the inside so you don't feel any of the ruffles and that actually brings it down so it's not like this ruffle can go up like and make the skirt like rise up if that makes sense because it is actually stitched to the lining so i really liked that as well it's kind of a simple thing but i like that you don't feel this kind of ruffleness against your legs when you walk like it's all lined inside it is a really nice length like it's not like a super short skirt it's a good length on me and i feel like if you were a bit taller this would still look good on you because it is a bit longer and it has a really nice flattering shape to it it really brings in your waist with the belt and then kind of like flares out it's really really pretty um so i really really like this one they also do in the same style and i'll put a photo on the screen they do like a blue floral i thought it looked pretty and i feel like you definitely could style that in a gothic way but i really don't like blue too much so i thought i'd get the spotty one i feel like this would be so much easier for me to style because i have a lot of black tops that would really easily go with this so this is the first one really really pleased with it and would recommend and it literally came at the perfect time because I was literally looking for this. <laughs>
basically they had another one on their website so they have two from new look themselves and they have another one from cameo rose that was the one that i didn't see in store and it was a very similar pattern to the one i had previously so it was like a white and red floral it did have spots of blue in which i re i wasn't really sure if i would like it but when I tried it on, I actually liked the pattern. The blue isn't too obvious. Um, and that one was called the Cameo Rose Black Floral Lace Up Belted Mini Skirt. That one originally cost $19.99 and with the discount, I got it for $14.99. I got it in a small and it fits very well. When I got out of the bag, I was a bit like, oh, this actually might not fit me because it was significantly smaller than the eight so that's something to bear in mind if you're after that one with the stretchiness that it has it fit me fine but i would say the fake leather like wasn't as soft as the new look one and that one only had three tiers of ruffles so when i put it on it actually made my hips like look like they stuck out a lot more than they did um and i like showed my mom and she was like yeah that one doesn't have as nice of a shape so i ended up sending that one back i did like the pattern i would have considered maybe keeping it if i liked the shape of it but i would say that shape is very different to the new look one and also that skirt is shorter as well but i did end up sending that one back but i do have a photo that i'll kind of put over while i'm talking about it the third one is definitely one of those basic items and this is a simple black top which i thought would be really nice for the summer you've already guessed it it is yet another square neckline top with puffy sleeves um and this one is called the black sheared hem tie front top this one originally cost 15 pounds i think 14.99 no 15.99 and i got it for 11.99 which kind of standard for a simple black top but this is literally going to go with everything so it does have the square neckline which as you can see <laughs> i love this was actually in my last new look haul and this is like a dark floral kind of top that's why i've got pink makeup to kind of match the flowers this is a very similar style to the top i'm wearing but it does have a square neck it does have these really cute puffy black sleeves and then it has a tie on the chest area right there and then it does kind of puff out and then cinch in around the waist so it's a very very nice flattering top this is also insanely stretchy i got this one in an eight as well and it fits me perfectly so as i was saying it's a really really nice basic top it would go with so many different skirts whether they're different colors or if they're patterned but it's a really nice fit as i said very flattering very simple but i feel like it's one of those really nice staple goth pieces to have in your wardrobe so i did get one of these you're probably thinking i have about 100 of these by now um but i do have a lot of patterned ones i have ones that are long sleeves that i can't wear now because it's too warm so i feel like this was needed <laughs> last one in my click and collect order was this and then i do have one thing that i picked up in store <laughs> i ordered this with my original click and collect order so i did a first one and then i did like a second one so this was in the first and i actually got this one in a 10 i believe because this is a very similar style to the disturbia one which i haven't filmed yet but it i've got a dress like this from disturbia and oh my gosh the sizing issues <laughs> but because i thought you know what this material is not gonna have stretch to it um i'll get it in a 10 to be on the safe side but it was insanely big so i ended up sending it back along with that other belted skirt and then I reordered it because you can't exchange for some reason. <laughs> I ended up reordering it through like a click and collect. And my mum also got 
a lemon dress in a different style so this was the second order and i got this one in an eight and i have recorded a try on and i'm gonna try and send it back today but this just had so many things i really didn't like about it i liked it in theory and on the model it looked really pretty so it's basically a strappy dress with this really pretty lemon print and you might be thinking like i've lost it i'm wearing paint makeup and and now i've bought a lemon dress but i actually like floral things that have like one colour. I like it if it's black and a colour. So I just thought this was really cool, really kind of quirky and I've always wanted to do a yellow eyeshadow look and I've never had, I've never found that yellow piece that I'm like, yes, this with a yellow eye makeup look. Like I find it difficult to find yellow things that I like. So when this came out, I was like, that's really cute and also it is mainly black and it's only really yellow and green so i was really excited about this but unfortunately this isn't the one so as i said it's a strappy dress it kind of has this kind of square neckline but it kind of dips more into a sweetheart one and then it does have frills a tie here it's kind of like ruffled a bit like ruched tiny bit and then it does go in under the bust it is an a-line dress rather than a skater one and then it does have a slit in the side i'm assuming to help you walk and then it has a tie at the back to kind of bring it in and then on the shoulders it does have these ties here so they would sit as bows on your shoulders so that's the style first one i got in a 10 it was insanely big so i thought surely the h will be better um now this fits me from the waist down um and also something i didn't know about this one it does have this piece of elastic on the back so this is very stretchy which i didn't know was in it because like from what I've seen with these styles of dresses, they're usually very unstretchy. So this does have elastic in. Um, so that does mean that it is a bit more comfortable. The main issue with this was the chest area. I put it on and again, the chest area was insanely baggy. And also these straps are insanely long. So it fit really well from like the waist, but if I sized down further, it might have fit in the chest, but it wouldn't have fit me like anywhere else. So there wasn't really much point in returning this again but my main issues were first of all the chest area doesn't match the rest of the dress like the sizing of the rest of the dress and my mum's one which was also a lemon dress had this same strappy detail with bows i think and hers again was so long she got hers in a 12 and it fit her everywhere else apart from the chest area kept like falling down because of these straps <laughs> and you might be thinking but surely you can just untie them and then adjust them well that's what i thought but actually when you pull this they're actually sewn <laughs> so they do have stitching which means this is purely for decoration and it's not actually something that you can adjust which i feel like is so pointless like either have adjustable parts on the straps or just not stitch this and tie it up i could have unpicked this and tried to make it work but like the chest area didn't look flattering i don't know if this is common but one side has a double seam line and has this slit in it at the end and the other one like the other side doesn't and i, I just thought that was weird i don't know so there was just a few things about this dress that put me off of it and that's why it will be going back but the main thing is like the sizing was really odd and also these straps i feel like would just annoy me and i just don't understand why they weren't made as like ones that you could actually tie up and adjust because it again it's like it's not just me who's had this problem like my mum also had that problem and she's a completely different size to me so I just feel like their sizing is really off with this and also you can't adjust the one in the middle either that's just for decoration so overall not a favourite I liked it in theory this one cost £24.99 and I got it for £18.74 but as I said I will be returning this one in store today, unfortunately. So that was the sad story of the lemon dress. <laughs>
Okay, and now we move on to the last one, another lovely dark floral piece. As I was collecting my order, because you get an email saying like, you can collect your order, and I was looking through my email and at the top it said 20% off if you purchase something in store on the day of collecting your order. And I was like, oh no. I said, surely I'm not going to be tempted by that. And then they just brought out some new stuff. Not good for a clothing addict. <laughs> and I saw this and it's so cute. So it's like a dark floral, it is black, and it's a play suit. And I, I said in my last New Look haul that I struggled to find play suits that I like, and this is in my perfect style. <laughs> they need to stop bringing these out, because every time they bring one out, I'm like, yes, yes, add to cart, I'll have that. It's dangerous. They These need to, like, go out of fashion or something. <laughs> but it does have, once again, a square neckline with cute puffy sleeves, with a frill. And then it has this kind of elastic in the chest, so it's really, really stretchy. And then it does flare out into a really cute pair of shorts. It's just really cute. Now, this one does look a little bit pink, and I know I'm actually wearing pink makeup today, but this is a first. <laughs> I don't usually like pink. I don't mind this kind of look because it's very like a muted kind of dead rose kind of look in pink that matches this like really muted top but this is definitely a little bit more bright but i would say it's more of a ready pink like it's not bright pink and i just really liked the look of this so i'll show you it up close um it is mainly black yeah so you can see it does have like some green some white and then some pink but it is definitely more of a ready pink in my opinion <laughs> really cute play suit it was 19 pounds 99 but because i picked it up in store on the day of collecting my click and collect order i did get it for 16 pounds i believe um so i thought that was a really good price because this is like an all-in-one outfit and i feel like if you wore this kind of like what i'm wearing today like a choker maybe a dark themed gothy necklace um this necklace i'm wearing is the etta love one so i do have a haul from them that i will link in the eye um but this necklace is like the perfect one to pair with dark floral pieces because it is actually a death head moth or kind of like a butterfly but it's got like roses and skulls and thorns like it really goes well with dark floral pieces so i feel like that paired with this and maybe like a belt and some gothy shoes like i feel like you can really easily goth up dark floral pieces so i thought this was really cute and especially if you struggle to find floral play suits or play suits in general that fit your aesthetic i will say there are a few kind of loose threads on this one like there's one here like there the looks are kind of like a piece of elastic and there was one that i saw further up like some of the stitching isn't the best like there so i think i will just cut these off but because it is the price that it is and these don't seem to affect anything when being pulled i'll let it go <laughs> that is something to note i would say the quality of this one isn't like as good stitching wise as like the skirt like the skirt is a really nice quality the lemon dress has a few loose threads and the top i haven't seen any loose threads on either so yeah that's the only thing I'd say about this. But overall, I really like this one. I can't wait to style it. I did get this play suit in an eight as well, and it fits me really well. So. I'm definitely in a dark floral mood at the moment. Love love some dark floral. 
I think it's because I've loved it for a really long time, but I've really struggled to find pieces that I liked. And this year, I just feel like New Look are just giving me what I wanted. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope it was helpful. Again, if you're trying to find those more like goth basics that are affordable or if you're like me that love a dark floral, but you struggle to find things you like, then I do hope that this helps you. Do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this. Remember to comment down below what was your favourite piece and if you've been finding any like really cool summer goth pieces do let me know in the comments and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye